Hi, this is Arun Kumar and I uh, will be discussing with you uh, the projection of solids in particular prisms. So, uh, I will be talking to you today on uh, pentagonal prism and taking a very basic example wherein a pentagonal prism of 25 mm long edges and axis 70 mm long just on HP on one of its corners of the base and the axis makes 45 degrees with HP and the side opposite to the corner on which it rests makes 30 degrees with BP. You need to draw its projections. So straightforward problem uh, with uh, the prism resting on HP on one of its corners of the base. So first step it should rest on HP on a corner. So your XY line so draw the pentagon top view. A, B, C, D, E are the corners of the base and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are the corners of the top base. Draw the projections and uh, mark the corners of the base and then corners of the top face in the front view. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 dash, A, B, C, D, E dash, axis line and in the front view we will be seeing two rectangle faces which are B C 3 2 C D 4 3 ok and in the second step you will be inclining the axis at 45 degree uh, keeping the corner D on HP now the point to be noted is when you incline the axis by 45 degree that means you are inclining the base by 45 degrees now the important point here is since the base is inclined by 45 degree uh, it won't be seen in the top view whereas the inclination of the top face with xy line since it is more than 90 degrees it will be seen in the top view let's find out draw the vertical projections draw the horizontal projections so as can be seen the top face 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is clearly seen the base ABCDE is not seen. Now along with the top face you see three triangle three rectangular faces which are E A15, A B21, and B23. Okay. Third step uh, draw uh, the 30 degree inclination to VP, which is a two inclination. Five. And on this you are supposed to place the edge that is opposite to the corner on which it is resting that is D so the edge that is opposite to D is AB so AB should be kept on this 100 degree line now since AB which was initially 25 mm is still 25 mm that is it is in its true length so you can keep a true length on a true inclination so this won't be a locus problem so we do that and while doing so we observe that the top face that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is nearer to the observer than the base. So it will be seen in the final front view. Let's find out, draw the vertical and horizontal projectors. And uh, yes, as can be seen, the top face is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is clearly visible in the final front view. Whereas the base ABCD is not. Along with the top face, you will be seeing three rectangular faces which are 2, 3, CB, 3, 4, DC, 4, 5, ED. So, this uh, problem uh, you can take as an assignment and solve it in the sheet or in your uh, assignment book. Um, like this, I will be posting another video wherein uh, the hexagonal prism also will be discussed. So long.